Welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Lena William bringing you tutorials on Python pandas. Tutorial 5. This tutorial 5 of pandas uh, series, we are going to learn reading CSV files using pandas. So we are first we shall see what is CSV file, then how to create it and upload it to Python environment, and then how it is read by pandas. These three factors will be learnt in to do to today's tutorial. So what is CSV file? So a CSV expansion of CSV is comma separated values. So a CSV file it is the simplest way to store the big data sets for our data analysis and it is a text file in which the values in the columns are separated by a comma. So let us consider an example with the file name data and extension csv. So it is a csv file having the name data. So this example is shown here. So the first row indicates the column names or the index of the columns. So here we have the first column as id. Under id we have the uh, ids indicated by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And second column is name. Names are indicated as Rick, Dan, Tassar, Ryan, Gary, etc. And the third column is salary. Salary is given for each of these names as 623.3 for Rick, 515.2 for Dan, etc. And the fourth column is the start date. Uh, maybe it is the date uh, of joining the uh, duty. So the start date is in the format year, month and date. So the first row uh, corresponding to the person Rick, the date of start date is January 1st, 2012 and corresponding to Tassar, it is 15 uh, November 2014 uh, etc. It goes like this. And the last column is corresponding to the department to which the particular person with this salary and start date belongs to. So first name that is uh, Rick belongs to IT department and then Dan to operations, then Ryan to HR department, Gary to finance and it goes like this. So what we were supposed to have it in the form of a table is now uh, in the form of each column separated by commas. Uh, values in the columns are separated by commas. So you observe here, each row contains the data corresponding to these column names, column uh, indexes, indices, and uh, they are separated by commas. So ID, and then name, and then salary, then start date, and the department. So this is the format in which uh, a CSV file uh, appears. Next, let us see how we can create this uh, CSV file and also upload it to Jupyter, uh, sorry, uh, Python environment. So, in the first step, type the data that you have uh, row wise in a notepad and each uh, value separated by comma. So, once the typing of the data is over, save this file as a save as uh, taking this option save as under all files with the ex extension .csv and you uh, put it in any directory of your system. So this is how we save a notepad containing the data with the save as option and uh, under all files with the file extension .csv. Now in step 3, we upload this file to any of the directories using the option upload in the home screen of Jupyter. Since we are using Jupyter Notebook for our uh, Python uh, analysis, we go to the home screen of the Jupyter Notebook and upload this file to any of the directories that are available under the 
home screen. Suppose if the data is already available in an Excel uh, file, then we need not have to uh, again take it to the notepad. Instead, this Excel file can directly be uploaded. Uh, skipping this step two, we can directly upload it to Jupyter Notebook uh, environment where it will consider it as an Excel uh, .csv file. So an Excel file is converted into CSV file directly uh, it is read as a CSV file by the uh, notebook environment. Uh, so directly upload this Excel file uh, into the uh, Jupyter Notebook environment. Let us go to the Jupyter Notebook environment and see how we can upload, we can uh, read and further uh, analysis of the data. Uh, this is the notebook. I have typed all the data here in the notebook. You can see that this is an untitled uh, notepad. Uh, in the notepad, I have typed whatever the data that I explained uh, just now. So this, I am going to save with the option save as. Okay. I will save it on the desktop with the name. Uh, uh, select this all files and give the name as data.csv. So the data file, I think already it is available. So I'll just uh, make it as data 11csv Okay. So I'm going to save the notepad under uh, save as type is all files with the file name data 11csv So this is in the desktop. So save. Now let me go to the Jupyter Notebook uh, environment. So I have started this. So this is the Jupyter Notebook home screen. Here we have the option upload. Upload. Select the file that you want to upload. Data 11 and open. So data 11.csv is now ready for upload. So upload this. Okay. Uh, here is another uh, data file and it is in the Excel format. So this data is uh, corresponding to the silver uh, trading rate uh, on uh, different dates of different years. So the first column corresponds to the date. The second column is opening uh, rate and the four, uh, fifth column is the closing uh, rate and this high and low corresponds to the uh, highest uh, rate and the lowest rate of trading on that particular day and what is the volume traded and in which currency. Okay, So this is in the Excel format and this uh, let me see how we can upload it and how it looks what would be the format of this. So this is in the uh, desktop. So I will upload the desktop data underscore silver. This is the data underscore silver and it is an Excel file. I will just open this. Now you see that though it was an Excel file, it has taken, with, taken it with the extension .csv. So Excel files, you can directly upload it to Jupyter Notebook environment. Okay, so that has been uploaded here. Let us see how to read a CSV file in the Jupyter Notebook. So let me create a new file, new Python file and Name it as reading CSV file. Okay. So, first step is we must import 
pandas as pd and then i will read the data with a file name data underscore csv form okay. you need not have this form i'll just make it as data underscore one okay data underscore one is equal to pd dot read underscore csv then within bracket and within inverted commas give the file name so we have the first file data 11 with the extension csv along with the extension we have to give this then i'll ask it to print data 11 Sorry, this should have been data underscore one. Now you see our data one one dot csv file is the one with the ID having one two three four five seven, then the name Rick Dan etc. with salary data, then date of joining, and then the department. So each row is indexed with the uh, indices zero to one two three four etc because the row index is not given here so this is how uh, we read the csv file uh, for further analysis using pandas let me also read the other file that uh, i uploaded in the excel format let me call it as data underscore 2 is equal to read, uh, sorry pd dot pd dot read underscore csv within bracket and within commas what is that data underscore silver dot csv okay then print data underscore to See here data to pd dot read csv then the date the file name was data underscore silver with the extension in the csv dot csv format then i'm asking it to print that uh, uh, data which is data underscore 2 which was the csv file here since the silver data was a very big uh, data having 600 and 6103 data it has printed only first few rows and the last few rows uh, that is how uh, the big data is read with this command uh, we shall see more about it in the future uh, tutorial okay so this is how we read the csv file using uh, uh, in the python environment Thank you for watching.